Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews the Tech Channel, and I've just run out and got a new micro SIM card for my new Nexus 5. I've charged this up, so I'm now going to show you how to put in the micro SIM card, the setup steps you go through when you first start the phone, and how it looks compared to the Google Galaxy Nexus that it's replacing. It's been activated, so the phone should come right up with a service all ready to go. I've got the tool here to pop out the micro SIM card tray. That's the little hole right at the bottom of the micro SIM card slot, right below the power button. You gotta get it in there and give it a little shove. The uh, tray will just pop out a tiny amount. You gotta get your thumbnail in there to pull it out the rest of the way. And it can come all the way out. Just make sure you put it back in the way you took it out. Now I've gotta pop out my micro SIM card and get it in there. The way you know how to put the micro SIM card into the tray is there's a notched corner on the card and if you look carefully this corner is the notched corner in the tray so that means you have to flip the card over the gold contacts down and seat it in there. And it kind of fits right in and you slide it into the phone. So it's nice and flush. I've charged the phone up. Time to turn it on. Let's see how this screen compares to my Note 3. I've heard it's very sharp, but it, it's a smaller. I don't think they can do much about that. Okay, well this is new. This must be with a KitKat Android 4.4. Different pattern of the four colors when the phone starts up. Oh, that was quick. All right. We're at the welcome screen. It hasn't activated the SIM card yet, so it's only for emergency calls. I want English. It's looking through local Wi-Fi. I'll have it skip that for now. Okay, this is where you set up your Google account. Just for this first time through, I'm just trying to get to the screen. <clears throat> You want to allow them to have this information. Well, they have all the other information. Why not this information too? And send it to the NSA for good measure. Put in your name here. This will appear on the phone should you lose it. This is where you give Google permission to do updates on your phone. It says we're good. That was fast. Oh, a little tutorial now on how to use the new version of Android, I guess. And if I say, OK, Google now, oh, hello, Google, how are you? OK, I, I didn't actually think it was going to talk to me or at least answer that question. So to get past the welcome screen, you have to just say, OK, that you've read what they've told you about, which is, I'm not going to say it again, but that will bring that up and you can then interact with your phone verbally create more screens for apps. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Here we are to the home screen. Pretty empty. Ah, to use all the Google features, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't say, okay, Google now. I just said Google. Okay, stop. Got to watch your language around this thing. Pretty similar. The, the, the changes look to be kind of minor from uh, Android 4.3. But that's what I like. I got the Galaxy Note and I didn't know how to use all the Samsung software and it was a, a pain to get anywhere. So it did work right away with the network. I'm on my T-Mobile network and I see I'm only on 3G here. Usually got 4G with the other phone, but anyway, I'll walk around the house and see. Looks like I've got a voicemail and I've got another icon. Fairly similar, except it doesn't have that bar at the top where you can turn on and off uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so forth. Well, what's this? Oh, okay. Ah, you do it this way. 
And just a quick comparison here, my Google Galaxy Nexus, the phone I'm upgrading from, to the Nexus 5. I lined up the screens the same here, so you can see the difference in the screen size. Really not much wider, but definitely got more length to it. It's, it's a longer phone. If I match them up bottom to bottom, yeah, just the tiniest bit longer, but the screen is quite a bit longer. And in terms of width, that's pretty darn close. Maybe the Nexus 5 is a hair wider. And there it is in thickness. Alright, I'm going to go through and set up the Nexus 5 with my Google account, give it a workout, see what the new features are, and see how much faster it is in running applications, games, and so forth than my Google Galaxy Nexus. I'll put a link over here to that next uh, video about how the features work on the phone, and then over here in this corner you should see my picture. You can click on that to subscribe to the channel to be updated when I put up future videos about the Nexus 5.